Swati Cup and welcome to Tiger Today out here in our sort of uh, outside studio undercover today because it is raining and it's predicted to rain for the next three or four days as well. Now, do you have one of these? Because if you do have a drone, from tomorrow you've got 90 days to register your drone. If you don't, there's a 100,000 baht fine or five years in jail or both. Now, the other thing that occurs to me that if you're on the beach smoking and flying a drone, that means you could be up for 200,000 baht fine. Hmm, probably something to ponder. In the meantime, let's have a look at today's other news. A senior Poor Thai party member says that the key announcement by PM Prayut Chanacha that the general election date will be announced in June next year and an election the following November builds up confidence among investors even though a ban on political activities remains in place. According to Reuters, Thai shares jumped to a near 24-year closing high yesterday following the Thai PM's announcement, with the Thai SET index having its highest close since January 1994. Bar owners in Bangkok's infamous Soy Cowboy have been told to close their doors for three days during the upcoming funeral of the late King Pumipon Adunyadad. The order has come from the Tong Law Police. The lights will go out in Bangkok's most famous party strip on October the 25th, 26th and 27th. Meanwhile, His Majesty King Mahavashira Longkorn has thanked people who have paid their respects to his late father in front of the royal urn over the past 12 months. His thanks also went to volunteers who are contributing to the royal funeral of the late King Pumipon Adunyade. His Majesty also noted that his father would be delighted if he could see the devotion and unity Thai people had shown for the occasion. Thai Airways and Thai Smile Airways are increasing the number of daily flights during the royal cremation. The additional flights will operate from October the 23rd to the 31st. Thai Airways will add 11 flights between Bangkok and Phuket and 5 flights between Bangkok and Chiang Mai. 28 V24 battle tanks from China have been delivered to Thailand six months ahead of schedule. Army Commander-in-Chief General Chalom Chai Sitisat says the early arrival will allow the Thai Army to utilise the vehicles faster than expected. The tanks arrived at the naval port of Tung Prong last Monday. They're the first batch of tanks purchased from China North Industries for 4.9 billion baht. They've already been moved to the Army Cavalry Centre in Saraburi Province for inspection and to be fitted with communications equipment. And police yesterday decided to proceed with the indictment of social critic Sulak Siwaraksa for allegedly violating the Lesser Majest law when he questioned whether King Narasuan's famous elephant battle during the Ayutthaya Kingdom in the 16th century actually occurred. The decision follows almost three years of investigation as the 84-year-old was brought yesterday to meet prosecutors at the Bangkok Military Court. The duel, in which the late king is said to have been victorious over the Burmese, is often regarded in Thai history as a momentous victory that freed Ayutthaya from Burmese rule. That's all the main news. And just looking around the weather in Phuket, we've got an 80% chance of rain really for the next three or four days. So probably a wet period ahead, including the weekend. Uh, As for next week, well, let's hope it clears up. And for the poor tourists that have uh, come to visit the island, they'll get a bit of decent weather. Now, just uh, looking at a few other things weather-wise, Bangkok Airways had to cancel two flights in and out of Mae Hong Son Airport yesterday, as there's quite a lot of fog around the northern parts of the country. And just a final comment for Mr. Malk Rowe. Malk wrote into Facebook yesterday complaining about how I mentioned the word ecotourism. Uh, I think he said it's meant to be pronounced ecotourism. Uh, I think I'd like to remind Malk and anybody else that there are so many different accents on this island that pronunciation becomes a very difficult problem. We do try and get all our pronunciations right and apologise if you've been offended by our pronunciation. We'll be back with another Tiger Today next Monday. Tomorrow we'll be having a day off and we'll see you then.